Hello again, I'm Max McGee, 855 AM, 53 degrees. Marty, we're breaking the routine of getting that weekend vibe going. Oh, teach you up, everybody, ain't it the truth? Yes, now sir. that camera was looking to the east and you can see blue skies behind you. It's looking straight north and you still have some clouds up there. We're seeing clouds mm -hmm. banding around a low that passed by during the overnight. Today, clouds will give way to some sun. More than that, all the better for us. 68 degrees is going to be the high. Max, take it away. The coronavirus isn't showing any signs of slowing down. 580 people have it in Maryland, including some first responders. Amy Coada reports from City Hall. Two EMS providers with the Baltimore City Fire Department and one police officer tested positive for COVID-19. City officials say once the first responders became symptomatic, they immediately isolated at home. Commissioner Michael Harrison says the Baltimore police officer is now resting at home and in good spirits. One of the EMS providers is in the hospital while the other remains quarantined at home. Now city organizations are working together to trace these individuals whereabouts inside and outside of their respective departments. And we're told all three first responders are recovering and feeling much better. Reporting from City Hall, I'm Amy Kawada for WJZ. Child care centers are now being forced to close by the end of today, but that doesn't apply to places offering care to essential workers. Child care centers closing can reopen Monday if they care for the children of essential workers only, clean and get approval from the state. The Maryland Department of Transportation will reopen the Eastern Bus Division today after clearance from health officials. A bus operator out of the division says they tested positive for COVID-19. That person last worked March 19th. Officials say the bus operator was not at work after getting sick and the Eastern Bus Division could resume service. The University System of Maryland Board of Regents is now talking about approving refunds of student fees. Twelve public colleges and universities are finishing their spring semesters online. The chancellor has the authority to work with the presidents for the refunds, room, board, and other fees to students and their families. Stay with WJZ News and Weather today at noon.